Hey guys, all right, look, me and my son are here and I was taking him to football practice and we had to stop for a second because I showed him a little hole that I actually could caught a fish in before. I wanted to stop and show him and prove to him that there's life in a lot of these holes that you can catch them if you want. You won't believe it, but I did not bring a fishing pole. It's so odd for me not to have a fishing pole in my truck. On that note, I always have something in my vehicle that you could possibly catch fish with. And let me show you what I've got. I unspooled some old line onto an old hanger. And I had old bait that I tossed in here when I was in a hurry. And on my dash, I keep a magnetized set of hooks. So what we're finna do is hand line this creek right before it's practice. We only got like 10 minutes. But I wanna show you this little creek that I'm fishing at. I wanna show you this little creek real quick. Not even really a creek, it's just like a puddle of water. But they are fishing it and I'm seeing a big one in the back. I see a big one way back here in the back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna zoom in. He is right in there. But anyway, I'm gonna toss this in. I'm gonna hand my son the camera real quick and see if he can actually record me doing this. I gotta un unravel some line real quick. Here it goes, guys. I Texas rig this little shad, and I'm going to try to toss it in and see if I can hand line. I gotta be careful. So Don't fall. Steep. I know, I know. Here we go. Oh, bad cast, bad cast. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I need more line out. There are normally not that many cars coming down this road, guys. I guess everybody wanted to see West Point Willie fish in a, in a hole. <laughs> Just joking, by the way. I still see movement. Oh. I tossed in a little bug earlier, and they tore it all the pieces. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Uh. Nice cast. Oh, oh, man. They're coming after it, too. You got, got one. one. Oh, I lost him right here at the, the bank. <laughs> Ready. Oh, missed another one. It's a little harder than it looks. <laughs> True. Oh, I didn't look Nice, Dad. <sighs> Can you really blame him? Some good sizes down there. I'm ready to trade with you right <laughs> now. Nice. Oh, 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 there we go. I'm gonna zoom in in a, in a second. When you uh, get a good cast oh, in, uh -oh. zoom in. Uh oh, I got, I'm, they're hitting it. Oh, oh, just missed him. The hook's a little too big for him. Well, you, reason I was hoping maybe I get the big one. I don't have a good system. Ah, dang, Dad. I'll get, oh no. No. You get it undone? No. Crap. You know, you get it loose, didn't yeah. you? You dropped the hanger. <laughs> I threw the hanger after it and got it undone. All right. Hey, I do what I do. All right. That was a better cast. A little bass hit it then. It's awesome. Oh, they're, they're oh. hitting it hard. Yeah, they are. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but I'm trying to get you the best view as I can. Right, one more cast. That was in the way. Last cast for me, guys. If you call it a cast or toss. I'm going to call it a toss. But it's about to work out perfectly for me. Oh, I got one. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, don't lose it. I didn't even get a video of that. I was about to hand it to video you. Video it. Holy crap. Oh, dang. He's a good sized one. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. It's amazing. Wait. It's going to work this time. What the heck? That's right, you got it. That's right, you kind of got to bunch it up in your other hand when you toss it out. How do you got it so zoomed? Oh, All right, hurry up, bud. You got practice. I know, I know, I know. There you go. Oh, they're tearing it to pieces. Oh, good one. Oh, man. Oh, I lost it. That might be the end of that one. If so, he, at least he caught something before he's gone. Yep. yep, that was it. Anyway, Crap. it's broken. That was only about four pound test line and it's been on back of the truck for a little bit. <laughs> but guys, we caught it in the, you that. We caught one in that. It's amazing. <laughs> oh hey.
All right, guys, it's time. I've got, you see, I've got these already tied onto my poles and rigs here. I'll go over what I got here in just a few minutes and how I got them rigged and what kind of poles I got them on. Um, this is going to be our measuring guide for the challenge. I am out here doing the MTB slam here at one of my favorite pan fishing spots uh, because it's close and I can actually fish here. I'm going to start off. Next, we're gonna try this buckshot. This guy is a little more presentation, it's a lot heavier. Looks like it's got a nail weight glued to the side. It's a lot heavier, it says it rattles, but I don't feel a rattle in it. This is the uh, tiny deadbolt on the uh, Shakespeare uh, rod I got from Dunham. And uh, this is a really, really nice micro. And oh my goodness, it's so heavy. <laughs> Oh, I throwed it way out there. All right, the next thing I got here is the uh, this little jig. I used my little uh, one one thirty second uh, jig head to put this uh, this presentation on. All right, this guy I'm using. We'll go to this other spot over here real quick. This guy that I'm using here. It's like a bug. So what I'm doing is I'm letting it drop. They're seeing the white fall, then the chartreuse on the top. I'm making it actually drop in front of these rocks, and I'm popping it up out of the rocks like a like a like a little bug swimming through the water and trying to get away. Oh, they're all over the place. Oh my goodness. Oh, something just chased them away though. Let's bump it down the edge of the rocks. Oh, look at them swarm it. There's one. All right, nice one, nice one, nice one. Look at there. Let's get put him on the box. Well, if you can see that beautiful thing there, it's like a no. It's a green sunfish, actually. That actually was pretty awesome. It actually worked. All right, what I've done is I've kind of jigged this guy. I've got the the cork, the slip cork, so it doesn't uh, fall. I got a peg here. To hold it from going too far and i put on a little piece of weight on this one and uh which i may have to put back on the other one but um this is how i rigged this guy the full can't tell if that's on camera or not but this is on the full mr crapley slab stalker I'm about out most power out of my, my camera and I didn't bring fishing in on my oldest Shakespeare uh, and the newest Shakespeare rod that I have uh, other than the ones I just bought. All right, check this out. Went ahead and put it on the jig head. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Well, guys, I'm out of time. The notorious line gets me again. And there's no sur there's no getting it back after this, guys. It's it's in there. That thing grabs it. So, all right, guys, my lunch is over. I'm going to go back and re-rig my rods and all and come back around 4.15 today after I get off work and see if we can complete this challenge. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, try this new rig. Had to change a little bit. I added a uh, lead head to this uh, floating bobber. Uh, I'm going to change the technique just a hair on how I'm throwing it just to uh, see if I can get it to drop and get it get to, to work and maybe get a little fish on there. All right, I got the Mr. Crappy. It's a little bigger hook. I'm not really thinking this is going to work, but it's the same presentation, just a uh, different color bait. We'll see how it's 
see here. I'm going to go ahead and try this little crankbait again. Shakespeare. This is my Zepco. I'll save you all the pain and boring details on uh, on all the casting. All right, all right, here we go. Sorry, guys, I didn't have the camera rolling exactly, but that is, looks like a close to at least a five or six inch. That's a red belly sunfish. Um, I actually caught him dangling it, actually, with the jig. Um, I know that's kind of cheating, but uh, I don't care at this point. That was such a hard trip. I need to check my time because I cannot, cannot miss tonight. One of my favorite things to do is our Wana games, and I love it. And I want to be there. I don't want to miss it, so I'm not going to be here much longer. I know I could keep going after the brim. Look, they dove. It wasn't me because I threw beside them. Unfortunately, like little white bass and stuff are... Oh! There he is! Fish on, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh dude! Did you see the mother bass come up? Oh, there's a school of them. Look at that. I want him to put him on there. I know he's at least... Man, he come up to come up and hit it. First things first. This guy. And I'm already seeing tons of little fish out there. Oh, there's me one. Look at there, guys. Look at this guy. Oh, I bet he's not the, uh, the inches we need, but I don't care today. Today it's about getting the fish. Put him back. Get out of here, little guy. Water temperature's great. All right, guys, I am back here at Last Bridge. Let's put this guy on. There we go. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh, <laughs> look at that red belly sunfish. Oh, he's, man, he's thick. All right, let's go get a picture of him on the... Uh, on the uh, mystery tackle box, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this guy. He's definitely six inches. Seven inches. Boom! There you go. There we go. Oh, man. He choked it. Oh, my gosh. It's a little green sunfish. Uh, these guys live in the rocks over here. They get awful dark. Almost six inches long. Not quite. Oh man, but this thing has a huge, huge mouth. Back in the water. Hey, until next time, this is West Point Willie telling you, keep your hooks wet and have fun.